Good afternoon, my dear fellow children. I'm not John, this is not me in tuner, but welcome to my crappy little workshop, where today I'm going to give some well-deserved attention and care back to one of my most beloved pieces of tech of the last few years, the original NVIDIA Shield Pro. The 500 gigabytes model, that is. I mean, that thing is absolutely fantastic. It is over five years old, and it still is by far one of the finest machines Android TV has to offer. Obviously, the AI-enhanced upscaling and full Dolby license of the newer models make them even more desirable media streamers, but hey, as far as basically everything else goes, one simply should not dismiss 500 gigs of native built-in storage so easily. Know what I'm saying? But anyway, having said that, let's be honest, although it was a totally appropriate choice back when it was originally released, the mechanical drive they put in there were never known to be screaming fast nor very reliable. So to those of you still kicking ass and taking names with their unmodded units, I say I really, really hope you always completely powered down your shield when you're done with it or the drive will just keep on spinning 24-7 and will inevitably wear down prematurely. I mean, those things are basically like a time bomb, alright? They're all going to give up on you sooner than later at this point, and while it is somehow possible to salvage shields with a positive drive, it is quite complicated, to be honest. So, unless you really know what you're doing and you're not afraid of modifying Xcode and whatnot, your all-important wide vine DRM keys would be lost forever, thus making you lose 4K or even full HD capabilities on most major streaming services as a result. Now, of course, back in the days, replacing those drives with something that was about just as expensive as the shield itself was a very significant commitment. But thankfully, the SSD price have dropped so much over the last few years, it makes this beautiful little mod much more palatable for everybody. So let's get to it, shall we? Let's find an entry point, if it pleases the court. Right. Nothing broken. Seems fine. All right. Let's cast this aside for the moment. Uh, seems fine. Good. 
All right. So. Mm hmm. Hmm. All right. Let's start with the beginning. Let's pull this piece of tape carefully. Come on. Hmm. All right. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Did you see there? for the moment. Now, the trickiest part is this bit. Those ribbon cables are extremely slight slight problem here but I found something that would do so there remove the little plastic tab and this time we should be good to go Now remove this part very carefully. Oh, you can.
fair amount of glue, but whatever. So we have our disc. Huh, nice rail of rubber right here, but that won't be needed anymore. I didn't. So, all right, now time to cast this away. Our little caddy here. And I'll go uh, like this. So, well, we'll do just that in a moment.
And we're back. Music by Kevin McLeod, by the way. So let's put all this junk back together and now... No, 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 no. Is this thing still going to boot and what kind of speed boosts can be expected from all this crap? All these questions and probably several more I am not really expecting to have answers for just might find an answer on the next time, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully you'll join me for that. But in the meantime, I wasn't John, this wasn't Mini Turner, and this was my Shield TV overhaul workshop. Thank you very much and goodbye. I don't mean to be disrespectful. It is reckless and irresponsible if you're just doing it to be a show off. I believe the French even have a word for that when the men get together to honor their leaders. Call it an homage, sir. A what? An homage, sir. That's bullshit, Macaulay!